Was there a moment when you were there on that day, May, May 31st, 1986, where you were asked to leave? Or, or people started to get suspicious? Because if you were to do that nowadays, people would ask you, do you have a permit? What are you doing? With, I mean, especially with that size camera. No, it's a good question. We didn't have any hostility. We didn't have, we weren't asked to leave. Security had much you know, more important issues at the time, which was, you know, underage drinking maybe, and just uh, kind of monitoring the crowd control. Uh, we didn't get in the way, you know, we weren't going up to, we didn't create any scene. I think uh, had we done something like that, we might have called more attention to ourselves. And that's something we were very mindful of because we didn't even know if we would, when we went in, if we would encounter any hostility from, you know, security or from the, the people that were, were there. We didn't know if, uh, you know, any, anybody would be, take offense to being taped, but uh, we didn't encounter any of that. And I think you're right, though. A lot of it was the novelty of the time. And you know, nowadays, everything's taped. You, you can't go anywhere without something being recorded. Um, and so to have cameras or you know, a, a video camera in an environment like that in 1986, and these cameras look like news crew cameras. You know, it wasn't, I mean, home video was out, but that was still very much a novelty. And you didn't, not very many people had camcorders. So we were, um, we were kind of a welcome, if sight, if not a, a real curiosity. I mean, people were very forthcoming. A couple people were, you know, you know, you know, mouthed off to us, but it was all in good, good fun, mm -hmm. and uh, and we just we just kind of rolled with it. Did that day teach you anything about like spontaneity versus over planning? Um, well, definitely, it was uh, a lot of um, we we just. It's always kind of been our hallmark. John and I have collaborated on other projects, and I've always enjoyed doing the, this uh, filmmaking without a great deal of, certainly verite cam, you know, documentary. You can't really plan for it, um, and you just want it to unfold. You don't want to uh, script it. You don't want to put words in anybody's mouths, and you don't want to fake it. And um, you know, I mean, there is you know filmmaking that isn't a, that is agenda oriented or or trying to go for you know comic relief or what have you or or, or you know with a real goal and that's fine. I mean, that's a, certainly there's nothing wrong with that. I I we at the time didn't have an agenda or go in there. Other filmmaking I've done along these lines, it's just kind of fun to go and see what happens, let it unfold. Um, but I've done enough stuff to know that. Um, if you have something in mind and, you, and a, something you want to achieve, the more pre-production, the better. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but when we did that particular documentary, I think not having any pre-production or not having any agen you know, shooting script or any kind of plan uh, worked in our favor. So I think there's something to be said for both.